Today we'll be bringing you a full-on wraparound patio walkway video. It'll be an all-in-one video. It'll be start to finish, completely step-by-step -step directions of how to build your very own paver walkway. This will be just over a few minutes and it will fully detail every single step so you could do it on your own. First things first, we mark everything out with our marking paint. Now we had an excavator come in. You can do this yourself and dig by hand if you'd like. We're trying to save time in the interest of making money. Now we have our excavator here. We are digging down, removed all the concrete. We're digging eight inches below grade. Below grade means below grass level. Eight inches all the way down and around. Once we get everything completely excavated, we then must remove the dirt off the property. Now, we also must be digging with pitch running away from the point, from the home. The highest point will be all the way back here. It will wrap all the way around. Now, they want the open grade base. We use a Teco block paver and they use the ICPI, which is the Interlocking Concrete Pavement Institute. They follow those which want the open grade base. So we use our three quarter inch clean base. We go six inches with the three quarter inch base all the way around, as you can see here, then we compact. Then we bring in our bedding stone. We use three eighths of an inch bedding stone. We use one inch of that. As shown, we compact everything. We put our bars down. The bars are for screening purposes for our bedding stone. We use bedding stone to st stick with the open grade aggregate and also because sand holds moisture and Dust causes effervescence in the Teco block paver, so in order to not void their warranty, we go with all open grade and we follow it accordingly. Now we put our one inch on our one, actually three quarter inch thick steel conduit and we spread and we use our straight edge to go all the way down and make sure it's perfectly flat. I say flat and not level because it's not level, it is pitched. Now we're doing a shale gray Eva paver with a shale gray valet six by six border. The pattern is a randomized pattern. It's supposed to resemble bluestone. It is the sister of the blue 60 paver, which is the much bigger one we use for patios as opposed to walkways. Now you're constantly checking your plumb level and square while you're laying everything. You have your levels. You range from your two to your four to your six to your eight. You use everything. Now usually we do a concrete paver edging. Here we'll be doing a plastic paver edging as requested by the homeowner. They want the grass to grow up tight. If you're doing concrete, you would need the Black Beauty grass seed and even that doesn't always take the best. As you can see, this is how the block, the paver sits up against it. Now when laying your pavers, you don't want any four corners or anything like that. You wanna avoid that. You want randomized pattern, but you don't wanna use the same pavers next to each other. Now that you have everything laid out and blocked in with your paver edging, you backfill with your dirt and your mulch up against it and you rake it all out and you blow everything completely off so you're ready to do your polymeric sand. For this, we're using a slate gray G2 polymeric gator sand. This is the commercial grade, so it can be up to four inch joints. It has a 15 year warranty and while it says no dust, you, know, you can see the dust coming out of the bag right there. So nothing is completely dust free. Now you spread it entirely with a broom as shown, but you leave a little bit over the surface of the paver. That's so you can tamp it down with a Deblo hammer and you can go over it with a compactor. Then you go through it with a fine tooth comb with a whitewash brush and you can get right in between each one and you leave it so it's about an eighth of an inch below the paver when it's all said and done. This took about 10 bags of polymeric sand as this was about 800 square feet, 80 foot per bag. Just a little different view, tapping it down, go over with the compactor, get everything cleaned up. And once this is done, we clean it with a fine tooth comb and it's slightly below the paver. We are ready to begin our water phase. As with everything we do, we believe the wet look is the best look and we'll be showing you that momentarily. We take the blower and we blow off any stuff that might be a little bit over the top of the paver. So we are completely ready to mist. We hit with the shower setting. We do 30 seconds per area and we go, we do the entirety of the thing. We get the entirety of the paper walk, excuse me. We get all of the suds off. That is the glue activating in the palmers in the palmeric sand. As you can see, the wet look is the best look. Now we came back the next day after it's all dried up. This is our finished completed look. Thank you to everyone who watched.